Police are keeping mum on developments in the murder of four Bulgarians in the leafy suburb of Constantia. A couple, their housekeeper and a bodyguard were found with gunshot wounds to their heads on Thursday. Authorities are warning people to avoid jumping to conclusions before investigations are actually concluded. But, as ENCA Zobe Sutehejana reports, the community already have their own ideas about the motive. Western K police say investigations are still underway following the murder of four Bulgarian nationals. The motive for the killings is still unclear, while the identities of the victims have not yet been released. Krasamir Kamenov Karu, who was sought by Interpol last year after he was accused in absentia of the murder of a former state employee in Bulgaria, is believed to be among the victims. The community policing forum in the area says they are unsure if the murder is linked to organized crime. The residents of Constantia must understand that this is an isolated incident. Okay, they, um, they shouldn't be concerned too much about their safety. Um, as we know, the, the gentleman that, that was killed, um, he was wanted by the Bulgarian government. Um, the, actually, the Bulgarian um, prosecutor's offices, they found him guilty of, um, of murdering one of the officials of the state ministry. So he was on Interpol's watch list. It was, it was something in the making at the end of the day. Community leaders here say not much was known about the family as they were private individuals. But the manner in which they were killed has left residents uneasy. Ward councillor Emil Langenhoven says they are worried that criminals are using their areas to evade the law. To have uh, people sought by Interpol and are listed on their red list to be in, in Constantia and, and going about their lives as if, you know, it's normal and, and nothing's affecting their lives. It's, it's a bit disconcerting to understand that there are these kinds of people uh, living in the area. A construction worker in the area who did not want to speak on camera has told ENCA that he saw two vehicles on Thursday morning. One was inside the yard while the other was parked in the road with people carrying high caliber firearms. After a loud bang, the vehicles drove off. Western Cape Community Safety and Police Oversight MEC Regan Allen has cautioned people to refrain from jumping to conclusions over the nature of the crime. I have already engaged the police commissioner in this regard. I am awaiting an update from the commissioner's office, but I would stress that members of the public, residents should not speculate at this particular time and wait until that particular investigation has been concluded. I think in the interest of justice and what we are wanting to achieve, I would encourage residents not to speculate at this time, but to know that any form of murder, whether it is an international visitor, whether it is a resident, any type of murder should never happen in our province. At this point, it is still unclear whether this crime will escalate to an even higher profile crime. No arrests have yet been made. Nobesutu Ejana, Cape Town.